This is part of school assignment. I'm going to give a review about six devices of computer. Two input devices, two output devices, and two storage devices. Let's get started. The first device is keyboard. This keyboard is created by Belkin under the model of FSK007. This keyboard is wireless with 2.4 GHz providing up to 33 feet or 10 meter from its receiver. This keyboard looks very classic and slim so that you can carry it around from one place to another. Also it has music control button so that you can have access to your music all from your keyboard. And it has low battery indicator. This can alert you when the battery is going to die. And it costs only $34. With this functionality, this keyboard can be used in home office, at home, or at workplace. Because it has full access to everything you need to have either for entertainment or for work. However, the downside of this wireless keyboard is you need to have spare battery with you so that in case the battery die, you have something to replace. If I have to rate this keyboard out of 5, I would rate it 4. Next, let's move on to another input device. It is a mouse. This mouse is created by Longitech under the name of G500. It can be found for $85 on Amazon. The cool thing about this is it has resolutions from 200 dpi to 8200 dpi and its design is very nice. It even has anti sweat palm coating at the middle of its body and on the two clicking button it has fingerprint resistance. This mouse is designed for everyone, including gamers who want to have a right to your control on the game. The good thing about it is, you can change its weight accordingly for positions in particular conditions. You can have control over the gaming. You can even change the DPI to match with the sensitivity of the game, so there is no restrictions at all. The only problem I find is, it has no wireless. But even though it has no wireless, this mouse is still awesome, which is why I rated it 5 out of 5. The next device I'm gonna cover is output device. This device is speaker. Its model is T12 wireless 2.0 Bluetooth speaker. It is created by Creative Labs. It has A2DP for wireless stereo Bluetooth and AVRCP for Bluetooth remote control. And its frequencies is 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. And it is sold only for $67. Its design is very beautiful and everyone can use it to listen to music. But it is not recommended for professional because professional needs to work on detailed sound. However, this speaker does not offer a low frequency or a very high frequency, which can be hard for professional. However, if it is just for daily usage, it can pretty much play the music easily and it sounds really good. On top of that, it is very affordable. The only problem with this device is when it is other Bluetooth devices connected to the computer, it sound of the speaker starting to mess up. And that is really a problem which people find it very annoying. Regard of this problem, I would rate it 3 out of 5. Next is Prinza B1160W by Dell. It costs around $130. This printer is actually wireless and laser printer. The specifications of it is it can print off 600 times 600 dpi and it can maximize to 1200 times 1200 dpi. 
Its maximum capacity of paper input is 150 sheets. The design of it is very compact and small, so it can place anywhere in the room, either at home or an office. And its color and the design and shape of it is look very good. This printer can be used by almost anyone because it can print very quickly. It can print up to 20 pages of A4 paper per minute. And it can also print directly from mobile devices, especially Android. However, the problem is it cannot scan. So for users who likes to scan most of the time, I think this printer will not be the best options for you. Since with this such problem, however, if we comparing to the price of $130 with no scanning, I think it's quite reasonable, which is why I rate it 4 out of 5. Now let's move on to another device, storage device. First let's start with flash USB. It is Trans Memory EX2 produced by Toshiba. It is sold on the market around $51. Its capacity is 32 GB which is pretty big and it is support USB 3.0 which is pretty fast. It can write speeds around 130 megabyte per second and it can read speed 220 megabyte per second. This flash drive can be used in any field. It can be used for education or study. It can be used in entertainment or for work to store documents. The design is pretty small but it doesn't look really nice. So based on that, I have to rate it around 3 out of 5. Last but not least, I'm going to give a review about another device called Hard Disk. And now this is going to be StorageJet 25M3 produced by Toshiba under the price of $89. It is 1TB hard disk with the support of USB 3.0 which made the file transfer a lot faster. The design is with the black and green stripe which made the hard disk look very lovely. This hard drive can be used in any other field. It can be used to store documents, it can be used to store large multimedia like movies or video games. Not only it can store large files, but also it is anti-shock protections. So you don't have to worry about it being dropped. You don't have to worry about you lose your file. It is completely safe. However, the bad side about it is, compared to the flash, this drive is quite big. It might hard to fit your pocket. But if you want large storage, this is a small price to pay. So in conclusions, I will rate it 5 out of 5. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.